Welcome back to the party, friends. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. And I've got a truly sweetheart of a guitar for you folks to check out today. This comes from James Goodall. And this is his Pacific Grand Concert model. Uh, and his Grand Concert is almost kind of a hybrid between a kind of a double O size and an OM size guitar with a little deeper body to it. Uh, awfully versatile, and I'll tell you the Pacific model, the ingredients that uh, kind of come in that package make this guitar very versatile. And it's a 25 and a half inch scale length guitar, so it's going to have awfully strong sustain, even for one of James Goodall's guitars, uh, which always have wonderful sustain to it. And you can see here we've got a cedar top with just a very nice warm color to it. Not quite as dark as some other cedars that we see, but uh, a very nice uh, grain pattern to this, very clean looking top. You can see a very non-obtrusive clear pickguard there. And just an awfully colorful abalone rosette going right around the sound hole there. It really looks wonderful. And this whole guitar is bound in a very flamey koa, the body, the neck, as well as the headstock. And uh, it's a nice dark koa with just a tremendous amount of figure to it. Just absolutely gorgeous binding on this guitar. And Definitely some very great looking uh, purfling both on the top and the sides and the back of the guitar. The back and sides of this guitar are a very curly triple A maple and it looks awesome. Uh, great color to it, nice blonde color and just a, a, just a wonderful set of uh, figuring done to this. You can see a, uh, a, just a gorgeous flamed koa backstrip traveling right down the center of the back. And like I said, it's got some great purfling going right along with it. The neck on this guitar is also solid maple. And you can just feel how solid this neck feels. It really transfers that, uh, the energy and resonance throughout the entire guitar. Uh, just a, a wonderful feel to this. It is an inch and three quarter nut down here. And just beyond that, you can see a very highly figured flame maple uh, head cap veneer and just a great looking uh, flamed koa truss rod cover as well, really tying the whole package together very, very well. And then we've got gold Goto 510 tuning machines, a little bit more modern choice there, fitting for the guitar, and they also have ebony buttons on them. And those ebony buttons really tie in really well with the fingerboard here as well as the bridge. And the fingerboard and bridge both have some really great looking notched mother of pearl square inlays on them. Uh, really nice detail work there, especially down there on the feet of the bridge. Really looks great. Uh, his grand concert models are fully scalloped and you can kind of feel for being a more dense maple guitar. This is a pretty darn light guitar. I think some of that has to do with the degree of scalloping he does to those braces. Also makes it very responsive to the touch. And I'll tell you, for a cedar top guitar, this thing has more headroom than you might think. Cedar tends to be um, known to kind of break up fairly easily without having to play the thing too hard, but very, very good typically in the finger style department. This guitar truly can do it all. So really a nice set of specs here. We ought to go take a listen to it.
a very charming voice out of the good old Pacific Grand Concert, and I am always uh, really thrilled by the opportunity to play one of James' guitars, and, and that is the definition why right there, what you just heard. The thing just sounds absolutely incredible. Um, it's got really wonderful, almost kind of a percussive bottom end to it, but that chiminess on the top end to really match it and balance the whole thing out, just a perfectly voiced guitar. Uh, again, the sustain that you've come to expect out of, uh, out of James' work, and man, it just really, really works really well, and a absolutely gorgeous package out of this guitar. I kind of like the very blonde color all throughout the guitar with that very striking uh, dark koa binding all around, just a really beautiful package. Uh, you ought to check this guitar out in our store if you have the opportunity. I would love to put it in your hands and see what it sounds like uh, in your hands. Uh, if you can't, though, do view it on our website at eastguitars.com. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here. We'll see you guys next time.